Hello, everybody. I hope we survived the weekend. No one made really bad decisions, which I'm sure you are, because California is officially going to be open tonight at midnight. Feels really great to be back. Make smart decisions, though. Anyways, Dale was unable to make it today. He texted me this morning saying he had some family stuff that he needed to take care of. So I don't know if he's at Legoland or SeaWorld. He's doing something. So it's a little family day for him. So I'm going to take over the adversity betting slate today for monday june 14th we are flying through the month it's already halfway through june i'm excited for summer to be here now i'm also excited about this time of year as well so we had the u.s open this week just a little preview um our guy Corey peterson will be on with us uh i would say either tomorrow or for sure by wednesday we're going to preview the u.s open it's right in our backyard right here at tory pines uh, a lot of really good juicy headlines we got to talk about uh some betting odds as well we like we like for you guys to win money so hopefully some of the stuff that we're putting out you guys are buying in and it's helping your bank account as well so Corey will be on i'm excited for that it's a ton of stuff whether it's the brooks bryson dechambeau beef now it's adversity betting for a reason i finished under 500 last week and i want you guys to trust me so i look to bounce back and that's the point of adversity because not only are you doing it in life you're more than likely having that same occurrence with your gambling. So there's usually unforeseen circumstances, injuries, uh, ejections, like last night's game between the Nuggets and the Suns. Congratulations to the Phoenix Suns for advancing. But that flagrant two bullshit call and Nikola Jokic, get the fuck out of here. That should not have happened to an MVP, a guy who historically has a very clean record and even went up to campaign and shook his hand to make sure he was okay. A little too dramatic. And that completely sucked the soul out of the Nuggets at that point. So it was only a matter of time before the Suns were going to be celebrating. So I'm happy for their fan base. Uh, some of the videos that we saw on social media last night was awesome. They were at the Sky Harbor Airport and DeAndre Ayton, all seven, two of him, was standing on the roof of his car. So good for the fan base. They are headed to the Western Conference Finals. For today's adversity betting slate, here's what we here's what we got. Uh, let's stick with basketball. So Sixers Hawks tonight. I want to go give a quick uh, congratulations to the Atlanta Hawks. They have had a pretty good season, and it, I don't think anyone really forecasted them advancing this far. But I think the ride is going to come to an end. Now I want to point out the spectacular play of Trey Young really fast. Um, maybe similar to Steph Curry in that 2013 season where he kind of showed the world. Hey, I'm legit. I'm here. I can spot up from anywhere in the court. And this is just the evolution of the guard play. Now these guys are going to take 10 to 15, three point shots a game. And I'm okay with it. I really am, but I'm going to go with the Philadelphia 76ers tonight. I'm going to stop bullshitting. I wanted to say lean towards, you know, them minus three and a half, go ahead and lay the points right now. I think when they're at full strength, when they're at full speed, Again, we don't, we never know with Embiid. It just seems like there's some sort of conundrum every fifth or 10th game. He's going to have a tweaked ankle or knee, no positive vibes. I think they're going to come out, take care of business. Minus three and a half for Philly. Uh, let's head to the next one. So the jazz Clippers, this is an interesting one as well. I, I think it's the, the Clippers organization in general, uh, weird lines last series against the Mavericks. It's continuing now. Now for the Utah jazz, Mike Conley is looking like he's not going to play. And I kind of delayed this video longer in the day because I wanted to see how it was going to swing and whether he does come back, how much of an impact. I, I'm not sure, you know, so those lower limb injuries, they take a toll on these players. I didn't realize how much it was going to impact their line. So I'm not going to think about this anymore. I'm not going to overcomplicate it. Go ahead and lay the five and a half with the Clippers. I like the tandem of Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, strong perimeter defenders, and Kawhi is really taking his team on his back. So it might be a clash between the Phoenix Suns and eventually the LA Clippers in the Western Conference Finals. Head over to the ice. So we got a nice little matchup. Um, if you're hearing some scratching in the background, that's Charlie, the parlay pub. He just woke up from a nap. But uh, the Vegas Golden Knights take on the Montreal Canadiens in the third round of the Stanley Cup playoffs tonight. Now, the Vegas Golden Knights, as they look to defend the fortress, as their beloved fan base likes to identify their arena as, um, expect some low scoring. Uh, we've seen kind of a trend now with these first games. Uh, I'm going to say this with the Vegas Golden Knights, a little too expensive for me. So they're priced at minus 280. If you're willing to basically pay almost three times to get your return, go ahead and do that. I don't want to do it. So lean the under five and a half. So the total five and a half goals. I expect some strong goaltender play. I expect some low scoring defense. It's the first game of the series. They had a couple days off. 
take the under five and a half goals scored. So guys, as I mentioned, very quick show today. Uh, it's a great week. U.S. Open. I love that it's in San Diego. Um, restrictions in California are going away. So we are slowly but surely returning to normal life. Aaron Rodgers is still on his little sabbatical. I have no idea if he's tripping on shrooms or if he's in Hawaii. He's doing whatever he he wants. He's not at any sort of mandatory camp in Green Bay, Wisconsin, though. As for another big team market, uh, the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, we uh, Anytime you see Colin Coward completely sucking off Dak Prescott, that must mean that we are getting closer to football season. So we're a little under three months away now. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, remember to follow and subscribe to Charlie, the parlay pup, who's just making noise in the background right now. Uh, follow Dale at Aaron Dale underscore me at Will Galvez. Go follow the boys at JP 25 media and subscribe to our YouTube page and all of our social media channels, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, all of it at WOTM daily. Get through the adversity betting sleigh. Everyone goes through adversity in their life. It's the same thing when you gamble. So have a great day. Good luck in your picks. Let's start the week strong.